What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Retro Rewind from Mario Kart Wii. And here I am MK Reno, so let's get right in. So you're going to need a SD card for Resonance Fat 32 and you and a world manager like Wii Mod Lite or Your Mod Me Edition. And a Wii connected to the internet for version 4.3. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. You see, the link will be in the comments. You're going to go to. It'll take you to here and you're going to click on download and Google Drive. And you're going to hit download. Then you're going to download it. But I already have it downloaded, so what I'm going to do, you see here, I have it right here, so, I'm going to open it up, now we're going to pay attention to these, what we are going to do is, we're going to insert SD card into our computer. So, I mean, so mine real quick. Whoop. So, let's see right here. This is my SD card here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and click properties. Now, if your SD card is 32 gigabytes, if your SD card is 32 gig over 32 gigabytes, then you'll need to install a program, I'll link that in the comments as well. But it should it should be, it should be flat 32 right here. Flat 32, here. Now, what we're going to do is, since into these, we're going to drag the apps, add the apps, revolution, apps, retro line 6, and revolution, and you're going to put that on to the SD card. Now it shouldn't take too long, depending on how fast your computer is. Just going to do that, and I'll meet you guys when it is finished. Now, if it asks you to replace something, then hit replace. Then it should just boom like that. So in your apps folder you should see Retro Rewind with these three files. Back in the SD card. In Retro Rewind 6 you should see all these. Now in Revolution you see Retro Rewind 6 right here. Now, if you want a channel installed, um, then you want to go and create a club called Ward, but you haven't. I have one. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to. So, there's a certain ones here. So, there's one for Wii U right here. See right here. So, if you want Wii U, you'd put that. You'd put that, and then you'd put that in your word folder. But if you're on Wii, then drag the retro rewind board. So, since I'm on Wii right now, I'm going to drag the retro rewind board and put it on the. So you like to rewind. So yep. Yeah. Now that our SD card is set up, we're going to right click and hit eject. And I will see you guys when we are at the Wii. So when you have injected your SD card, we're going to put it in our um, Wii. Right here, so you need to make sure it's turned the right way. Let's do this nice and tight. Now we're gonna turn it on. Mine should just turn on. So let's get my name up. Oops, there we go. So my my we just takes a second to load it or reset it. And there we are. Now you're gonna press A. 
Now, what you going to do is you're going to load the Hulu channel. I'm going to load my right here. Now, hit start. Now, you should see... Oh, if you're, you can use Wii Mod Lite as well, but I'm going to be using your own Mod Me Edition. Might as well just go and click load. I'm not going to be teaching you how to get a Hulu channel, so you need to do that yourself. So, if you're... Now we're going to select Wii SD slot, click A, click A again. Now you're going to see an extra Wii line, click A, now click A again. And it should install. Yep. Now you're going to press home right here, press home. And it should take you back here. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to exit the system menu, which is the Wii menu. Now you can see Retro Rewind right here. You should play this little jingle. Hit start. It should do all that. And that's it. And there you go. Retro rewind. Just give it a sec. So my is just loading. Um so see the version. Um six point oh point nine as of recording. Now we're going. Now you can adjust your. Now if you have CCGP, I'm going to search the CCG for music. And you can go back to the options and stuff. Now you're going to hit launch. Now it is normal for the Wii Remote to disconnect right here. I don't know if um, ZPL will fix that. I'm not sure. Just give it a sec. And you know it will you know, turn off and then click A. And then it. Press it. Now I have that to rerun the version code is 81120.4. Yes. And you can also connect to Retro WSC. Which is the retro rewind service. WSC. Oh no, welcome to Retro WSC newest version. Six point zero point nine. Well nine me. Release it on to four and now you can plug into one of your world rights or something like that. So yeah, that's how you get a true rewind on your Wii and Wii. And I'm now going to show you how to get it on Dolphin Emulator. So let's um, see you guys out back at the PC. Now, if I forgot to say this in the video, but you need to take out, if you have a USB stick, then take it out because the options in your, in Retro Rewind won't work. So you need to take it out when you play Retro Rewind. Just like that, and then when you've, then when you're done, you can put it back in, and yeah. Now this is the Dolphin Emulator method. If you're on Dolphin Emulator, then you can follow these steps. So you wanna, you wanna get your downloaded, which you really want here. I'm gonna open Dolphin. Go to File, and open use. Don't open user folder. It should look like this. Go to the load and then revolution. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna drag this to them only a 6 on revolution. Drag these onto there, 
Well, since I already done it, I don't need to do that. But yeah. When you have done that, right click on your ISO, right click, start the motion packages. Make sure your pack is enabled with nothing else. And yeah, I will see you guys when it has launched. Again, should launch. Remember to hit start. Always an version code is 2024. So that's how you get to make sure we ride on Dolphin and we and we you. Now you connect. You can connect to Retro WSC and enjoy the time of Retro Rewind. I hope this video helped and I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah. Um, uh, peace out guys. Bye.